Hello and welcome to Tech 18. In this video, we are going to discuss about which DAX functions to use. This is a kind of common usage, I mean common questions which most of the people used to ask on which situation how we need to use and which DAX we need to use. Today we are going to cover an example based on that at least you will get an idea about how we need to proceed further. So let's go into that. So before to that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Let's assume there is a requirement that to get the maximum sales month name in a year. So example scenario here, like we have the sales from 2010 to 2014 and we need to get the sales of the maximum count and also on which month we have this highest number of sales so that we can arrange our sales and inventory and everything. So this video actually I had did previously also it is available on my channel but still I just want to keep that as an example and then I want to show you that. So basically the data what we have right now if I show you here is it is connected to a date table because we need to calculate the month name. Here we have the date, year, month and so on. And also we have this fact internet sales table which contains all the transactional data. And this table has multiple date columns. But when you look into the relationship between these two tables, it's basically the date table is connected to the fact internet sales as an active relationship between the order date key column. So not on the shipment date, not on the other date which is due date. So order date key is connected to the dim date. So this is what we actually need. So based on that, how can we calculate that? So here if you see this one, which is on the right side, this is basically the calendar year, month name and count of sales order number. So this is basically is coming from the date table, which is the year and the calendar month name. And the fact internet sales table, I have directly taken this from this order sales order number as a count of sales order number because I just want to compare the raw data with our DAX calculation to cross verify the result whether it is coming correct or not. So if you consider here on 2010 it's on December, on 2011 it's on June and on 2012 is on December and on 2013 is also on December. Right. So if we go back here to see the result, 2010 is December and then June, December, December and January. So only on 2011 it is the June but rest every year it's December here and the recent 2014 is January. So this is the result what we have come up here that's correct but how can we do that? So basically on the left side the table I have this calendar year and count of sales order which is basically the measure which contains count of sales order is count of fact internet sales and the sales order number that's a simple measure and the next thing what i have here is max so count sales order count so basically this is here the challenging part which DAX we need to use now let's understand this concept about what's the requirement so we need to pick up this the maximum sales month in a particular year right that's the granularity requirement so for this first of all we need to calculate the number of count and based on that we can able to calculate the name of the month so to calculate the sales order count we need to have a summary table on a monthly level basis that's what you can understand right because we need the value from year and month not at the day level so that's the requirement so to do that we have multiple functions in DAX, so which DAX function we need to use. Basically, let's assume that you need a table where it contains the summary of information which has like year, month as well as the total count. So this is the basic requirement you need, then only you can able to figure out the thing. So to understand about what are the DAX functions which we have to return the table functions. Basically, you can go to the website of this one dax.guide this is an amazing website i can say 
where on the left side you have the option about to filter based on your requirement i have filtered here to be power bi alone and here we have these multiple options about context transitions row context iterator calculate modifier depreciated and not recommended and volatile so these are the attributes which we have and also we have the function listed from a to z and here we have also the filter icons and here we have the group icons and also we can search if you want and if you see here there is tab table manipulation so if you go inside to this one if you click here it's going to open up here on to the right side where these functions manipulate and return tables so these are all the dax functions where when you use this one it's going to return you the tables here so if you are using a measure then basically you need to return a static value then well you can able to show it on your tables or any visuals but for the calculation purpose within the dax function you can use table dax functions and then you can take the maximum out of it so summarize is also one of the table functions where we are getting the result as a table format so let's go back to power bi so that's what i have done here summarize and if i open the bracket here it's actually giving me the option about i need to pass a table and then i need to pass the optional column names so here what i have done here is summarize the dim date table and then calendar year and the short month name and then i am using this max x functions so basically what does the max x function is return the largest number of numeric values by largest string that results from evaluating an expression for each row of a table so it's going row by row for that particular year for that particular month and then it's going to take the count of sales order so that's one thing it does here and this is what it is showing me the value here which is basically if i zoom in here it's going you is showing us 14 and 14 and this is the total count of sales order but this is the total count of sales order for the particular month and this is also particular month this is for the whole year it's just showing up here and this is for the particular month here so we are getting this result now and then if i go back to the next measure which is basically calculating the name of the month so this is also similar to the same thing but if we look inside to just imagine inside to this one basically it just has the date with the calendar year and the month name and inclusive of this one we have this year month name and this is the one what we have it right now so it's going to return me everything like the tables on the right side which is the year month name and count of sales order but now we need to figure out the top one based on this particular year right so for that what we need to do is basically i use the same function here which is dim calendar year num month number of the year and month name here and also i'm adding a column max sales and adding this sales amount i mean the sales order count and after that i am just using this top n function and if i go back to the dax dot guide the top n is also one of the tab dax function which returns as a table function so basically i am using this one and i want it to return it one and this i want to sort it by max sales so it's going to sort it by descending order and also i want to sort the year in ascending order so that's the reason i have added here as a month number of the year which was not there in my previous measure okay so here i'm sorting it by because there are highly chances or very less chances like the same quantity will be available on same different different month so for example like 230 what we have in june maybe chances of 230 is also available on december but in if that kind of case arrives then i just want to focus on the first month which is the june not on the second month which is on december so that's why i'm sorting this into ascending order and the sales value i am sorting it by descending order and after that i am just using the max x function because the reason is top when and summarize both of them are table functions both of them are going to return me the table not a static value not a scalar value so because of that i need to use the max x functions which actually goes inside to this top and table and then it's going to pick me up this month name to show up on this table on this measure and also i have just used this if function because if there is some values which is not available there i just want to show as blank because 
it's going to return me every row on this particular year so right now we just need to show you only the top only one month so that's the reason i am using this function also if it is a blank of the total sales count then it show me blank itself if it is not then show me the month name here so that's why it's showing up the month here so just as a summarized purpose uh, in the summary in the conclusion what i want to say is you just need to understand the requirement first and then you just need to uh, understand how it can be done it's a kind of riding a bike or riding a uh, driving a car itself you just need to understand how the engine behaves like how we need to start this one how we need to start the gear and which we need to use uh, which function kind of thing so similarly we need to just visualize ourselves if you want to get this kind of requirement like to get the month name from the data which is available at the granularity level at the date level not at the month level then we just need to group this requirement first and then we need to pick the value from that onwards by sorting the sales value in a descending order so that's how we need to visualize our requirement and based on that we can just think about which dax function we can use so dax.get is really powerful website i can say now they have improved a lot so we can get what are the functions what we have and on which way you can use these functions and what is the purpose of that so it's an aggregation function is a table function for example this is a logical function if you click on this one it's going to show you all the logical functions available in the dax so i really recommend you to check out this website for your all dax related needs so this is all about i just want to explain you about how and which dax you can use if you really like this video please hit the like button and also share this video with others if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video